Hi, my name is Craig Egan. I'm a manufacturing applications engineer here at Go Engineer. And today I want to cover the several options we have for creating our stock profile. That includes mill parts, turn parts, as well as mill turn parts. And in this demonstration, I'm using Camworks, but this is also applicable to SOLIDWORKS Cam users. I'm going to start with a mill part and we're going to start with the bounding box option. This is going to be the same length, width, and height of your part. And we can manipulate um, the X, Y, and Z direction um, individually. And it's important to know that the X, Y, and Z are correlated to your SOLIDWORKS uh, coordinate system. It's not set up how you would set your part coordinate system. This just happens to be drawn in the correct orientation. So if I were to add some stock to my, my Z height, you see it's increasing. Now, you notice that it's going uh, increasing on both sides, and that's because I have this icon selected. It's a, a uniform, meaning add stock to each side equally or uniformly. I can deselect that and increase or decrease each side individually. And of course I can input a a known value. Okay. So this is a really quick and easy way of just creating a stock profile. Now I want to cover um, a sketch profile. So in our stock manager, we would need to select the extrude sketch icon. And I've already drawn a sketch. And in this scenario, I'm assuming that for whatever the reason, we want to use a round bar stock. So I've already created a sketch. And now I need to specify the height of my stock. I can do blind, offset face, offset vertex, or reference plane. Uh, generally, I do offset face and select the uh, top of my face and I'm going to offset it by uh, 100 thousandths and I'm going to click out here in the in the uh, design space and it's going to update and I'm going to see that it's offsetting the wrong direction so I'm going to select this arrow for reverse direction and that's what I want so that's really easy uh, because that's the only way we could get a round profile in a mill part is through a sketch Okay, so let's cover uh, part configuration. I use this one a lot. And what this is, is I've created a configuration in SOLIDWORKS with just two extruded sketches. Okay. So when I come back here and open up the stock manager, I'm going to click on the part file icon. And I could select a, a different part to use as well. Maybe I have a revision of this part that I want to use as the stock. Um, but right now I'm going to select current part. And it's asking for the configuration I want to use. And I want to use stock. Okay, so you can see now it's updated. And last but not least, we can choose from an STL file. We have a couple different options of doing that. The most common would be using our work in progress, meaning if I have two machines running maybe one operation of this part and the other machine is running the second operation of this part, I can use a work in progress so that the second operation can use the stock from the first operation. What I would do is simulate the first operation, okay, and the second operation I can use this stock profile for. The way of doing that is this icon here, save work in progress as STL, I'm going to click that. I'm going to save it as work in progress stock, okay. 
Also make sure that our units is the correct units you're working in. I'm going to save and now I can come back to my stock manager, select the STL file icon and then the three dotted button to browse and I select my work in progress stock and OK. And now if I change the display, it'll make it a little easier to see. So that's my leftover stock from, from those operations. So that's a fairly easy way of generating a new stock profile for a second operation. OK, so now let's look at the options we have for turn and mill turn parts. I'm going to start with the bar stock option. And this is our basic bounding box. It's going to be the same length as our part and equal to the greatest outer diameter as well. We can offset these values. We can offset the OD. We could add a core to the inside. Okay. We can offset the stock. Okay. But the majority of all of your fine tuning adjustments will want to be done in this offset parameters area. So our diameter offset, we could add uh, a little bit of material as well as at the front of our part. And at the back of our part, maybe we want two inches. Okay. So that's a really fast way as well of generating a stock profile. Now, I don't need to cover configurations. It's the same as it is in the mill. And the option to select the sketch is mostly the same, except it takes a revolved sketch. I can show you my sketch that I created. Okay. So it just revolve this profile. And save work in progress is the same as it is in mill. Uh, but let's take a quick look at it, just so you can see what it looks like inside of a turn and mill turn part. I'm going to go ahead and simulate my turning operations. And again, I'm going to select save work in progress as STL. And I'll name it work in progress stock. Units inches. Okay. And then I'm going to go to my work in progress configuration and apply that to my stock. So I can select the from STL file. Again, the three dot button to browse. Select work in progress. And OK. And now you can see our stock has now changed to the leftover work in progress. And now I could run my milling portion of that. So you see where our stock profile is now. So that's especially useful when you're transferring a part from a lathe or a mill turn part to a mill. And the one option that is really unique to turn or mill turn would be using a work in progress sketch. Okay. So here it's from revolved 2D work in progress file. The way we generate that is similar to how we generate our regular work in progress and save as an STL file, except we need to be in our CamWorks operation tree. Right click on our stock manager and we're going to select save work in progress model. Now what we need to do is deselect any of our operations that we don't want simulated, which would mean it would remove the stock. So I'm going to leave the mill part set up unchecked. That way the stock will still be left for me to be able to transfer to a mill and then do the rest. So I'm going to leave the turn operations checked. I'm going to select OK. Now the save as type, I need to select work in progress sketch files and I'll name that a 
work in progress sketch. Okay. And now I can now open the stock manager, select the from Revolve 2D work in progress file. And again, using this button, I can browse. And I have my sketch. Okay. And now you can see again, we have that stock profile. So I've covered all of the stock options that we have. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, my name is Craig Egan, and thanks for watching.